Yo, what's up, boys? In today's video, we're playing Planaria Swamp Free Power Ups, but I'm going to show you an eco strategy, which is like incredibly good late game. So before we get into that, do me a favor, boys, like that smash button as usual and go down, hit the subscribe button as well. I would really appreciate it. It's free. You can always change your mind at the end of the day. But let's get right into our first game. All right. So we are going to be going with Ninja, Ace and Sniper. And instead of this, I'm probably going to go with Super Eco Boost. And here, I think I'll go with Big Balloon Slow, actually. Uh, just because Big Balloon Slow is going to be very nice for late game, especially because I'm going to be Ace Microing a bunch. And we have a pretty good area to Ace Micro. It's going to be right down here. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be pretty sick. What we're going to do, first of all, is probably go for an Ace, like, right here. And, yeah, I think this should be good. Problem for him is... Probably the fact that his, uh, what, what can you call him? His Cobra is not going to be doing very, very well against my strategy. So he's going to eco choke me. I mean, that's fair. You're not really going to get too much out of eco choking me, but it's, it's fair. So I'm going to just directly go for this right here. There we go. And the good thing is this ace goes through the little circle here, like the first mini circle. And like, we can, we can manipulate the ace in like so many ways. Alright, so Cobra, Mortar, okay, and then Eco Choke. Alright, buddy. I mean, so far, Eco Choke doesn't, isn't even really doing much. I mean, it's... Obviously, I'm losing a single Eco Boost per time. But he can only Eco Choke me three times versus the four times it used to be. So, Eco Choke just isn't as powerful anymore, which is very, very nice. Um, yeah, I don't even gotta go for Sharper Darts. I think we can... We can just stick with this right here. Yeah, he goes for one more Eco Choke. That's fine. Oh, nice sending pinks. Okay. I could go for some snipers just to, like, try and defend. Do I need to? Probably not. But we easily could. I think we're doing okay now. Yeah, I probably should have gone ahead and used my super eco boost. I'll use that round six. I'll go for a couple snipers here. There we go. We'll just keep these to strong. Let's go ahead and do this. Get another one down. There we go. And we probably want to go for like 550 eco max. And then we don't really have to go for much more after that. Let's go for this. There we go. 440. And I think round 8 is when we're going to use one more. Yeah, we're not going to get to use it round 7. It's not going to be worth... We'll wait to round 8 and use another Super Eco Boost. Let's see. Here we could easily go for... Yeah, we'll go for this. We should, we'll, we'll be fine with this. Easy. Alright, wait, let's wait to round 8. And Super Eco Boost. Bam, there we go. And then we just gotta get one more Super Eco Boost. Yeah, I'll even sell this and then I'll get ready to go for this. Just because that's going to help out a bunch. I can always go for the never miss here if I need to. But doesn't really seem like it. Let's go for the photo metal jacket here. Just because he is sending a bunch of stuff. Alright, seems like we're good. Round 10, we're going to use our last super eco boost. And yeah, let's go for 520 here. I don't even know how much it's going to give. I think it gives... How much is it going to give? 60? Yeah, I think it's 60. Yeah, okay, 580. All right, beautiful. Now, basically, what we need to do is just go for a bunch of snipers. Like, we just need to go for... We can sell this for 14, almost 1,500. We need to just go for the crates. And the crates is what we're, like, mainly going to try and achieve as many of as possible. Uh, so, yeah, you don't even need to go for too much eco. You can go for quite a bit of eco, but you don't even need, like, too much. You just need to go straight for this. So, he copies my eco. He copies it, like, way too late, I'd say. That is not a good copy eco. Alright. He's definitely going to be adjusting me at some point. Let's go for this. We have lightnings, which we can use. Alright, let's see. Is he going to adjust me early? What is he What is he going to do? I mean, here, I'll just go for another one of these. Let's see if we're getting around 14 adjustment. We could. Yeah, he does have a little bit of money saved up, I can tell. I can go for the 0.50 if I need to. 
but well, it doesn't. It seems like we're good. Let's go for this as well. Go for both of these on strong as also. Yeah, there we go. And then just keep on using the crate. And the crate on top of the eco will just help give quicker and faster money. You can even see how quickly the crate ability comes back. So every time we can use that, we're just going to go for more money. We're going to go for this right here. Might go ahead and round 16 adjust me. In which case, I do need to be a little bit careful. But we'll see about that. Oh, he's probably going to try and send me a BFB. Or a CMG, I mean. Okay, that's four... Four? Is he trying to send a BFP? What are you trying to do, buddy? A BFP won't really do that much. Not as much as he thinks. Okay. There he goes. I mean, I think we should be good here. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure we slow that down. Go for another one of these. There we go. That is also slowed. Oh, now he's going to quick shot. Okay. I will go ahead and just triple lightning. All right, free. Let's go ahead and slow that down. Make sure, again, we just pick balloon slow here. We go ahead and get this up. Let's go for 0 0.50 here as well. And, I mean, I'm just going to keep this on first. And I know this is helping out a lot. Let's have this down here as well. Help out with this. And easy peasy. Alright, beautiful. He can't really do anything and we are completely chilling. That is that is pretty nice. So he tried his very best. He lost a lot of eco money there. Definitely, definitely wasn't worth it for him. Let's go ahead and just go for another one of these. And yeah, we can now just keep on upgrading this. So that is pretty great. Let's go ahead and get this up. Again, he's just continuing to try, like, or continuing trying here. So, uh, yep, keep this up. Put this on strong. Okay, I think we're good now. What a weird play, bro. What a weird play. All right, let's just wait a little bit here. Go for another one of these. And I mean, our slowdown is going to come back pretty soon. So, I mean, I think we're I think we're all good here. And yeah, we can just keep this on strong. Another one on first. Let's say well done. And yeah, I mean, we managed to defend. Of course, he was also really, really aggro all throughout. So for us, it is going to be... Yeah, just a fairly, fairly quick win. He's about to die pretty soon, I think. I don't even know what he's doing right now. It's just gonna, it's, it's just game over, bro. We already won this. There's nothing really he can do. Let's go ahead and just send a few of these. Go for 600 eco for the style points. And that is gonna be a free win against Mad Brain here. GG. Let's move on. So the good thing about this strategy is that it can actually help counter grinders um especially with not going with super eco or uh, uh, damage boost but going with the big balloon slow slowing down like the moabs and bfbs and stuff when needed and then you can put your sniper to first is actually really really powerful bro so yeah here we're gonna go for oh not that there's a sniper there we go we're gonna go for this again i like to have the ace in the middle row because that's just where, what i prefer when i'm microing so when I'm going to be microing later, I prefer to have it there. But it's not really like it matters much. Uh, so, of course, we're going to be doing the same thing again here. He's going to be ancient installing with his farm. Okay. And we will just be going straight for this. Let's see if he has eco choke. He could. Okay, he doesn't eco choke me unlike the other guy. 
that's at least something. Let's go ahead and send him a bunch of stuff. Hopefully he doesn't have copy eco. I don't know. It's a weird place for your dartling, I'd say. Like, I get you were anti-stalling and that's fine, but why, are you, why is your dartling there? I mean, he doesn't even need to be anti-stalling, because, I mean, mine is time-based. Um, so, actually, like, yeah, just stall the rounds. That would be preferable for me, because I get eco, plus these are time-based. They're not round-based. Uh, I think it's, like, one crate every 30 seconds I get. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's wait here, go straight for this, and see, okay. So, I don't know what he's going to play. If he has copy eco, that'll probably be a little bit annoying. I'm not going to lie. Unless I see an eco boost, I'm not even going to use my uh, my own super eco boost. Because if he gets his entire map filled with like all kinds of annoying stuff, that'll be slightly annoying. I want him to use like a super eco boost next round. If he doesn't, then I'm not going to use mine either. Okay, no super eco boost. All right. Definitely seems a bit shady. Okay, he uses copy eco. All right. Okay. Guess we'll just go ahead and send him a bit of this. Let's go ahead and yeah, upgrade this. Continue sending a little bit. Nothing crazy. And go for just a single sniper here on strong. And we can we can always wait by using our last copy ecos later. Or we can try and like bait it right now if we if we really want to. I don't really have to use it now, but we can always use it whenever. So we'll wait with our super eco boost. We'll stick to 400 eco. Rather rather take a little bit of extra damage than have to be the one who uh, who's gonna be be giving him a bunch of eco. Okay, so right now he's just farming a bunch. He has four. No, he has like a little under 400 eco. I mean, it's nothing too crazy, but it's not bad either. I can't really stop him from doing whatever he wants. Maybe if we send a couple of these. Let's see if that works. I mean, we're kind of out ecoing slowly. I want him to copy my eco without him copying like too much. Okay, now he goes for that. All right. I'm just going to let him go for the BIA. And then we'll use our own super eco boost later. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll just have to save up for this now. It's going to be 7k. But we definitely also want to go ahead and make sure he can't just go for like infinite BAs. So we have to, we have to try and rush him. Like 100%. Okay, of course he goes for glue. So he's going to go late game with glue. That's going to be a bit annoying. I actually don't think we're going to be able to like defeat that. We have to try and win early. That's the thing. And again, I can't really do too much here. I just have to wait. We'll have to sell this for 1500. So I need, again, I need like 5.5K. Or I can go for this. Let's go ahead and just send him a single one of these. All right, now he goes for that. Can we even go ahead and do something? Let's go ahead and just send a bunch of this. Hope for the best. He's going to damage boost, of course. Nothing to be done there. It's just going to be a lost game anyway. I'm not even going to bother going late game. Because when you're against that strategy... I mean, it's just a complete counter. So, we'll keep it in though. Let's uh, see. Five more minutes. So, of course, the problem with going this strategy here is like... If somebody ends up going... I don't know. What what can you say? If, if, if somebody ends up going something like this, that's going to be... That's gotta be fully counter, like counterintuitive. What do you call it? Like that, that's gonna fully counter your strat. Like if he's going copy eco, you're just gonna be screwed. Like th there's nothing you can do there, especially when he's going like fully passive. I mean, th there's just no point in even playing it out. But if we go against somebody else who's either ecoing or not going copy eco, which is a lot. That, that's why there's also not a lot of strategies that you can actually play here. Um, for, that, that's gonna work. Like it, it, it is gonna be very difficult. There's not a lot of actual strategies um, that that that's gonna be like giving you a 90% plus win record. That's also why like the only strategies that can give you that are like grinder strats. But the problem with grinder strats is that when you see a grinder, you also know they're gonna go it. So you're just gonna try and like 
go something that counters them. It's just pretty much a big game of rock, paper, scissors. Because <laughs> there's so many different strats that counter each other. And when you just face a random player, you never know what they're going to go. Of course, right now, I know this guy doesn't go copy eco, which is a good thing. Um, so we can just kind of let him let him do whatever. Let's see. Yeah, he does. He's going to go wizard eco, which is kind of weird. It's not really anything I see often, I'd say. See, we could go for sharper darts. Do we need to? We might need to if he continues sending. Yeah, okay. So it's going to be eco versus eco. With eco versus eco strats, I think we definitely have a chance. Like, we definitely have a good chance. So, yeah, we're just going to continue to go with this. And, yeah, here we go. All right, sweet. Now we need to micro this a little bit just to make sure we take care of most of these things. Let's go ahead and super eco boost because round five. I'm going to use it round five, seven, and ten. I think those are just going to be the best rounds to go, go about using them. So we, of course, also have lightning, which is going to be nice as well. But right now our eco actually looks pretty, pretty good. Even though this guy is anti-stalling a little bit, but it's okay. You should never want to anti-stall when going eco, by the way. Like, never. Alright, let's go ahead and send him a few of these. There we go. Okay, we're good now. Alright, seems good. Yeah, so far, so good. All right, so I'm going to stop here, I think, or at least close to here. I might send a little bit more. We could go for the never miss here, but nah, no point. Let's go ahead and go straight for this right here. And then just wait. He goes for an eco boost. Super monkey? No way, bro. No way. You're not going to get away with that. I mean, we'll, we'll just keep on playing like we're supposed to play here. Super monkey sniper? Why are you placing down all your towers? Why are you placing down a super monkey? What is this guy doing in this arena? Dude, that's actually weird. That is so weird. What is bro doing in this arena? Okay, dude. So here, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and super eco boost. There we go. Get 600. And then we wait till we have like 5.5k. And then we're going to go ahead and sell this. And we're actually going to have that in like four eco boosts. So, okay, sweet. See three more eco boosts, so that's gonna be at what 140 no 342, I think. Yeah, 342. We can go ahead and just fully go for this. Could I go for the metal full metal jacket? Probably not. Oh, we could. Let's just go for it just to be safe, just in case of him trying anything. I'll put both of these on strong. I have the full metal jacket just to be. Just to be fully safe, if he tries to send anything, we'll go for 0.50. But we don't really need to do that. Could I potentially... What time is it? How many seconds left? Could we potentially just fully rush him? Dude, I don't even know. I don't think so. I think this is going to be our last opponent. I don't think he's going to be playing well. But yeah, I did. it's too late. It's uh, it's It just hit 11 right now, so... I can't, I, I can't even go into, it, like, it, once we're out here, we're out. We can't, we, we cannot find a new opponent. Otherwise, I would try and just all out rush him round 13. And then try and see if we could find somebody better, but... Seems like we can't. We'll just have to keep on playing this, like, a very principled way. The first game was actually probably the best you could view. Uh, just, just because of how it was. Like, it was, it was very, very good. Because we played like exactly how we were supposed to. We kept on targeting these between like first and strong, which is also very nice. Okay, so he's actually sniper farming too. He's like fully sniper farming. All right, that's interesting. I think I'll go for one last where I upgrade to the left side, but it's actually probably not even worth that much to upgrade to the left side. Not until later, at least. But we have two of these running, so that's good. Okay, he sells his super. I don't know why he even got it up in the first place, but he ended up selling it. Okay, so if he's trying to go late with this, I think it'll probably be best for us. 
let's see yeah we're we're out farming in terms of sniper farms Ooh, i shouldn't have i shouldn't have gone for the left side we could have gotten that like a couple seconds earlier would have been nice all right let's go ahead and get some just on first i think all right, let's go ahead and collect the crates. Here's just the most important thing is that we collect the crates. Because that way, like, it resets the, the little counter and it's going to start over. Um, so that is that is 100% the most important thing. So right here, that's like, a, like five seconds left. Two, one, there we go. Go for this quickly and then just use another one. Now we have four farms running. He only has two and a half. Okay, now he has three. But this is definitely going to just be better for us in the long run. So we got these two, which is nice on strong. And then we are going to have the rest on first. Actually, we got three on strong. But we're going to have these on first. So we're one ahead. And that one is probably going to give us a good advantage. We do have a little bit of eco. Did he not collect that crate? Like, who am I playing against? Let's see. We're also both just fully anti-stalling here as well. See, is he even collecting those? Okay, he upgraded, but I can't even tell that he's collecting. Looks kind of weird, but we're up a whole a whole farm. He okay, might be collecting, but maybe it just doesn't show me. Because I'm collecting mine like instantly. Oh, upgrade. All right, we have one, two, three. We have six. We has four. So there is a slight difference. There we go. We can almost go for a seventh one. Easy peasy. I want to rush him, but I don't even know what, like, I think he'd be good with what he has now. Thing is, he does have a super monkey. I don't know how good he's going to be late game with that. Because he also has a wizard, which is kind of just going to be bringing him down, let's be honest. I could go for some point, point five O's on these, but I just don't think it would be worth the money. Honestly. Here we go. As long as we collect these later. I don't know what he's face palming at. I really don't know what he's face palming at. Does he think he's gonna win this late game? Like my I have so many more farms than you. Like, dude, my farms are like a billion times better. Okay, and again, we're we're still just chilling here. Okay, I don't know what what buddy is trying to do here. Okay, he has some farms down. He doesn't have a lot, but he has some farms down. We'll just keep collecting these. We'll fill up, like, the entire left side of the map first, and then we'll go for, like, the rest of it. Doesn't really matter where we place our farms, as long as, like, they get placed down. But, yeah, here we go. This is, this is looking pretty good. As long as we keep collecting these, and we keep making as much money as possible, we're good. I think we definitely probably want to rush, like, round 32 or something. I think that could make good sense. All right, let's keep keep it running. And of, co and of course, we don't need to upgrade to the left because we are actually going to be losing out on a little bit of money if we do upgrade to the left side. So that that is really like what's not worth it. Here we go. And a couple more. Could I actually fit extra down here? I don't even know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, here we go. Keep collecting. This is looking really good right now. And yeah, we have a lot more farms than him. He is being dusted right now. I don't even know how many. Like, I think he has, what, 12 or 14 or something? I don't I don't even know how many I have. I'm not, I'm not counting. I'm just so focused on getting extra money to... I'll farm him. But I'm also not... Like, I'm mostly going for money here. Because we can always upgrade them later when we have more money. We don't need to upgrade them now. That's why I think it's important to... Do do as we're doing. Alright, let's keep... Uh, yeah, go for one more. Give me a couple crates. Beautiful. Keep going. Alright, easy peasy. Collect five of these, six. 
yeah, I think we're definitely good here. Now it's coming down to the clicking game. This is where it's going to be really, really frustrating. Because we're going to need to click a lot. And we are going to face against the Super Monkey. So there is going to be that aspect of it. We'll see if we can beat a Super. Maybe we can, maybe not. Oh, we actually forgot one. That's crazy. Alright, here we go. Now these are kind of starting to stack up a little bit. Yeah, we're, we're at the point where we can almost go for a new one, like, every couple seconds. And then every time we go for a new one, that's another crate. So, like, we just we just keep on stacking it up. Like, these, these grow exponentially. Like, you have, to, you have to keep that in mind. They grow exponentially, and we just keep on getting more and more. We do have Slowdown, though. We have Ninja, which is definitely going to be better than his Super. Um, so, that is 100% a plus. I don't think I'll fill up the top right of the map. I'll go for this as like my last one. Bam. A few more. I'll go for a couple 0.50s just on the few that uh, might actually need it. There we go. And yeah, we'll just have those on strong. As you can see, we're not doing that much damage, but I think he's doing more damage because he's actually upgrading his a little bit more to the left. Or is he even doing more damage than us? Okay, yeah, he is slightly, but that's because he's upgrading his to the left. Okay. That's fine for us. Let's keep collecting these. And I mean, whenever he rushes, it's the time we can rush as well. Alright, now we collect eight of these. We just keep on going. Don't know how many we actually want to get up. But, like, we definitely want to get, like, a good amount up. Maybe we even want to go ahead and upgrade them to the left whenever needed. Just because they're going to do a lot of extra damage. But we don't need to do that yet. We can wait until we actually get rushed. Because we're going to be good at least until like round 40 plus. Like we can easily go around 40 plus with this. He might have big bloom buster as well. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm happy with what I have here. I am very happy with it. Also just most of these on first is going to be fine. Like... It's kind of a myth, but I don't think we need to have have everything on strong. Having a couple on strong is going to be fine, but we really don't need everything on strong. All right, so literally, like, right now, most of, our, most of our map is just filled with these. That's crazy. Now we can go ahead and collect another 18 crates. Actually, more than 18 is, like, 30 plus easily. All right, damn. Let's keep on placing more down. There we go. Another 16 crates. Basically, our entire map is getting filled. Like, dude, we're having our entire map being filled with this. This is a lot of money we're getting right now. And we're also, like, we have more on our map than he has on his. Which is nice. Alright, here we go. Just keep on, yeah, keep on collecting these. Now we kind of, I think now we we just want to like fill up. We just want to fill up whatever, whatever we can. There we go. That's another 37 crates we can collect. I don't know if we need to, because like, yeah, see, some of them are coming back quickly. Yeah, we're not doing as much damage as he is. But that's fine. I think we're going to stop here. I think this is going to be our limit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four of these down here. And then I'll go ahead and get a Spectre up. All right. Now we will just continue on getting these running. Okay, sweet. And I'll go ahead and upgrade just all of these to the left side. So we'll take this entire little row here. First of all. Bam, just double upgrade. Let's take this row right here. And let's go ahead and collect all the crates. There we go. Oh my god, dude, that is so many crates. Holy shit. I don't even know if we can... 
Are they like not gonna disappear or like despawn? Okay, no, I think we're good. I think some of them actually despawned because like we had too many on screen. All right, here we go. Let's keep upgrading. And yeah, they're gonna do a lot of damage right now. Okay, he's going for a super. That's fine. Actually, completely forgot he had that, but it's cool. I think round 43 or something is probably when I want to attack him. I will go for a bunch of these as well. There we go. We'll go for a bunch of these also that don't have faster firing. Let's see. Can I not get some more up there? There we go. Okay, so he goes for a temple now. Let's go ahead and collect all of these. We have like 78 snipers, I think, if not more. That's wild. The only good thing is, except for the sniper, he doesn't have a stall. He could have a stall boost. I don't really don't know about that, but he doesn't have a have what we'd consider like a regular stall. I think, yeah, I think we'll probably go for a couple more of these. Nice. Maybe we can even get up 100. I think we can. Yeah, let's actually get rid of that one. It's 94. Let's go ahead and just collect all of these again. I think round 43 will rush. I think that's going to be like the, the perfect round to rush. I think a lot of these are despawning, actually. Yeah, because we just used those like so many. We should have had way more money from that. All right, let's uh, do this. This, this, and this. I think that's going to give us 100, actually. Let's also go for these right here. There we go. We can go for this easily. Is that 100? That's 101. All right, awesome. I mean, we could definitely fit more if we really wanted to. I think I'll go ahead and use half of these and then collect and then use the other half. I think that's probably going to be the best way. So here we go. Collect, collect, collect. We should rush too soon. As long as we have our ace, we're good. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and rush. Round 45. Should be good. Don't think the super will do him all that many favors. We do have a hundred plus snipers up, which is uh, which is crazy. All right, let's go ahead and use another fifty crates. Set a few more of these. Keep using crates. Collect. Send some more. Go for more crates. So he's gonna boost now. I don't know if that's gonna be good enough. The good thing is we already always have the stall. Like, as long as we have the stall, we're good. And, uh, I mean, the later we go, I think the better for me, actually. So, yeah, we can keep on sending these. I actually think we can send infinite CMGs with the amount of money we're getting from all these crates. I actually think we can. Yeah, because we're getting the money quicker than we're burning them. And again, yeah, it looks like we're doing fine. Everything is being slowed. Everything is being taken care of. Let's collect. Continue collecting. Yeah, he's not rushing. I think he thinks he can defend this, but it's kind of just GG over with. That should pretty much be it. Surely. Yep. We managed to take down player. GG. I don't know why he never countered. It's also unfortunate because he lost. Now he's down to 34k, so he can't even play in this arena again, even if he wanted to. That is really unlucky, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.